So this is gonna be a video where I explain how to build a log parsing tool from scratch in Python. So how exactly to do that, I'm gonna show you in this video. Keep in mind, this is just an example. This is one of the examples and I'm gonna give you brief details on how you can do that yourself. But yeah, it's definitely possible to build a log parsing tool in Python and I've done it many times and I've done it uh, in my career as a quality assurance engineer back in the day when I used to do that. And I also keep doing that now as I'm working as a Python developer, as a backend developer. I still need to build log parsing tools sometimes. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. If you wanna find more code examples, more details on what exact tools I'm using in this video, you have to check out the description and look for the blog post that I wrote about exactly this topic and exactly the tools that I'm using in this video. So check out the description for that article. Here is a very simple log file, server.log, and here we have a very simple Python script. Yeah, I'm gonna just show you how to extract some of the things from this file. Of course, the very first step is to actually find the path to the file, which is, let's say, log, log file. We could do that like that. And then depending on where you exactly you have this file, I would do uh, logs, which is like a relative path. So log servers, server log, this is the file path. And what I would do is I would try to open it, open with Python, because that's the first step that we want to do in read mode as F. And when I'm working on this, the first thing that I want to do is just test it. I want to see if there is, if I've defined the path correctly, if, and if I can open up this file. So that's what I'm going to do here. All right, so we can see something that is something is there. Uh, I actually wanted to, so I just printed the string, but I wanted to print the file. In this file, what we can do is go through each line and look for specific data in that line. So how could we go through each line? That's the next thing that you should think about is how could you go through each line in the file and do something with the line for line in f print line let's do this i want to see if this is possible if i can access the first line of the file so that's what i'm going to do here quitting the previous all right, now I can access one of the lines of the file. In this situation, what you can do is you can use regex, regular expressions, and uh, basically come up with a pattern to find something. All right, after getting this far, what I would do typically is I would go into the log file, I would paste it in this website, regex101.com, and I would come up with a pattern that would look for that would actually search for particular things, uh, like particular things that I want to extract. And currently what I'm looking at is the timestamp, which is this one. I want to see the timestamps of each thing. For example, this is just an example. Then I want to see log level, which would be warning or info. And then after that, I want to see the message. And it could be some other message or it could be like a request from something something from the IP address was blocked. That's a, another typical situation that I would want to see. How could you access these data with a regular expression? Let's do that. I've talked about this technique in uh, previous videos where I talked about regular expressions. You can find that on my channel. Um, there are playlists where I share details about regular expressions and other log parsing tutorials. But basically what I'm doing is I'm using capturing groups, I'm using dot and I'm using the sign, I like asterisk sign, sometimes a plus sign. 
to basically find specific items and I want to group them and I want to extract them. And this visual tool, Regex 101, it just lets you see what exactly is selected with the pattern that you come up with. This is way easier than just trying to tweak the pattern in Python itself. And on the side, you can see also explanation about what exactly the pattern is doing. So yeah, this is a very useful tool. I use it all the time and I need to work on uh, work with regular expressions. So I would suggest you check it out. All right, so now we have the pattern. Uh, what we need to do is we need to somehow use it in Python. So in Python, what's the next step that I'm going to do is going to be, I want to match uh, this regular expression that I just came up with. And for that, I need to import package regular expressions in Python. That's how you do it. Then what I want to do is I want to use re and I want to do a search method. And what is this basically going to do is it's going to let you execute this pattern to some kind of text and the text goes in here, which is the line. So this is what I want to do. And it's going to basically be, if the match object exists, then something was found. For example, we go to the first line, we see that this pattern will match the first line. So first line, on the first line, we are going to get match. On the second line, we're not gonna get the match because there is no, and there's something missing it doesn't doesn't fit uh, what I'm looking for with this pattern so we're not gonna see the match in the second line and so on and so forth just go through each line until you find those all right so and since since I have these groups so I have capturing group one I have capturing group two and three I can access these values from the code and how would I do that I would do it I would do that um, for the match object but in reality what I would do in this case is I would I would just run the code see the first match and go from there I wouldn't guess the, I, I, I never want to guess what I'm doing I just want to run it see how far I can get and then adjust the code um, yeah, so what do we have here? We have a match object and we have a match. Yeah, we have a match line here. And in order to get the timestamp, for example, which was the first group, what I would do is I would do group one. And also, we can see that here because I used breakpoint to stop here. Match, you can see. First one is the timestamp, the second one is the log level, which is info, and the third one is starting the server. And if we look into the whole line, you can see how it is here. All right, so I wanna extract timestamp, I wanna extract log level, And then I want to extract message three, all these three things. And basically what I want to do at the end is if I have all of them, I want to print them. And what I would do is just, I would simply do timestamp log level. And then I would do message and yeah. And what this is going to do, what, what it's supposed to do, is supposed to skip all the unnecessary lines and just get the ones that I care about, the ones that I have uh, the pattern for. So let's run that. Here it is. This is the result. And this is a very simple example how you can minimize the amount of logs you have to go through and you can just look for
information that you really care about based on the regular expressions pattern. So let's say you watch this video, you followed all the instructions, but it still seems kind of confusing. It still seems too complicated for you to do it yourself. And you're kind of still getting into Python, getting to know the scripts and you're struggling to build your own small projects and you need help with this, you can contact me, uh, find my contact details below, send me an email, tell me about your situation and I might be able to help you out in the journey of becoming a Python developer. I used to do that myself. I used to learn things. I used to build small projects and I actually managed to become a Python developer and I also helped a couple of students to do that as well. So if you need help, if this sounds interesting to you, look for my contact details below uh, this video and contact me.